The ideal student would be one who was not working for grades but was working because he was interested in the work and not trying to compete with fellow students. Sir Carl David Anderson, born on 3rd September 1905 in New York, died on 11 January 1991 in California, was an American physicist. He is best known for his discovery of the positron in 1932, an achievement for which he received the 1936 Nobel Prize in Physics and of the Mion in 1936. The ideal student is very, very close when he doesn't work for grades but and not compete with his fellow students. That is very close to our Hindu philosophy, our Indian Shastra culture called Karma Yoga, keep doing work without expecting results. If the whole of the world has understood that Karma Yoga, I think we could have created more beautiful people than slaves. The whole concept of competitive exams, the whole concept of trying to create grades and rank for students had made them a greedy person, an egoistic person, a liar by itself, a copycat by itself, holding on to somebody else's stuff, always trying to look that is a monkey business as long as that the business community the richer 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 rich richie rich, rich and the multi political mainstream have achieved they got the slaves with them and with that slavery with that slavery they get these people when they become egoistic and selfish they fall sick so they can bring in psychiatrists, psychologists, more and more universities to, to uh, produce psychologists, psychiatrists and doctors. So the moment they give you the money because of the egoistic, or selfish, or competitive nature, they take it from the other side. The salary day, the salary day, the people uh, get the salary as they come out, others are standing in the queue to sell their product, to create greed because they know for five rupees you can be purchased. Because if you are egoistic, if you are selfish, if you are a competitive, if you have a competitive nature, then you are a slave. You will not look into your power. You will get carried away. That carried away has created all the damage and they know you are damaged your bell a beautiful bell which was ringing so beautifully it's like the sound of music suddenly cracked a cracked bell never sounds well goes the same carl david anderson said the ideal student would be one who was working for idle student would be one who was not working for grades but was working because he was interested in the work and not trying to compete with fellow students how could you compete there is no there is no competition there is nothing that you can take it from that person then how could you compete for their Face. God has given a wonderful face, a wonderful tie. How could you grab, try to grab that? Once the rose tried to become a lily, 
problem still. A rose is 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 a rose. A lily is a lily is a lily is a lily. Goes the sings and if the lily tries to become a rose, that is the competitive nature. Gichin Funokoshi was the founder of karate, empty hand means that emptiness of your body without competition. Kara means empty, te means hand. Karate Gichin Funokoshi created, but in that karate, in that emptiness, you can see a massive power blooming physical as well as mental. Yes. And the world was shocked to see that the physical can manifest into thousand men warrior. Gichin Funakoshi created karate, kara means empty te, only from one this observation. He, whenever there was a talk of war, means pulling the rope, one group would be pulling the rope on this side, another trying to pull this side, competition to, to find out who can pull this team to this side. That is called tug of war. And it's very popular in Japan. Whenever there was tug of war, those people used to invite Gichin Funakoshi to become the judge. And Gichin Funakoshi said, the team which has come to win, decided they are going to win. I've always found that they have lost. But the team which has come to enjoy the sport has always won. Because the team is not thinking of the competition. The team is only trying to put his total effort in the dance and the dancer is removed and is only dancing. Such is the caliber, such is the beauty. You can see only beauty when you walk because you know your strength. Even Japanese business agenda has been sent to all the people. Or for that matter, not business for any meeting. No meetings are conducted without the agenda being sent to everybody. And everybody agrees to all the 10 points if there are 10 points. 100% only then the meeting is called. The meeting is for them to enjoy, not to compete. The whole people are coming there to understand each other, to hug and kiss each other, to share their food and to laugh and dance and eat so that they can penetrate more deeper. But in our meetings, we can say, you shut up, you shut up. You can see that happening in the parliament. You can see that happening in the assembly because a democracy means a demonstration of the craziest people and they are acting crazy so that we become too crazy and we become competitors. They open more colleges and schools to make you a nobody. Already they made you a nobody. Try to come out of them, go to study, enjoy. Hundred is not hundred, hundred is a roar of a thousand men warrior. The Teachers who correcting your papers will be shocked to see the beauty in the paper. Not only you write it, but you decorate it with the lipstick and powder and facial and who knows, even um, you remove the hair from your legs and uh, you even wax the paper. Looking at the presentation of answer sheet itself is beautiful because you are sitting inside the answer sheet and not outside the answer sheet.